All right. <clears throat> so what I'm uh, working on today is uh, this area right here, this little dirt track right here. This is all kind of rutted out. You can kind of see here. There's low spots and high spots and low spots. It's really unpleasant to drive on, unpleasant to work on. Look at that. Yeah, that's a little spot where you could catch your ankle and, and catch your ankle and roll it. Yeah, that's not good. More low spots here. Look at this. More here. It was really rainy out and we were driving through here a bunch and we just rutted up this whole area. Here's a really low one stepping. Let's see, stepping that one. Look at that. If you step in there, that's up up past my ankle. So this whole place is just a wreck. So, you know. We're gonna come through and fix this. Um, this is probably one of the this is probably one of the first jobs you'd do if you bought a box blade. Um, about the easiest thing you'll ever do. And uh, if you just got your box blade, cool. You know, watch this. We'll we'll kind of go through just breaking up the ground and smoothing it. Um, so what I'm going to use is I might not even need it. I've got the front bucket on the tractor. Oh, we got a. We just took the forks off, so I got to latch that in. So we've got the bucket on. And then we've got the box blade on over here. So with the box blade, what I'm running is I'm running the scarifiers as deep as they'll go. They're on the last hole. So they're sitting below this blade over here and I'm running it pretty flat. We're just going real simple here. If you're trying to dig real deep, you tilt it forward. I was considering tilting it backwards just so I can cut and smooth but I just want to keep this simple we're just going to pull this box blade through and show you what it does nothing fancy we are not going to do any advanced box blade maneuvers so so no science time today just normal everyday use of this box blade maybe we'll use the loader but yeah box blade back of the tractor pull the tractor through here smooth it out now one thing I will say we've got a slope here comes downhill to here and it goes out and if you, I don't know if you can see it but there's a little wallow here not too big but little and it catches water it's still wet everything else is dry this is wet um, so normally you know maybe your knee-jerk reaction would be well we'll start uphill and move downhill and drag dirt into this hole um, I'm gonna go the opposite way I'm gonna come this way and drive uphill so hopefully I can drag dirt through this wallow and uphill because if you come uphill from the uphill side and drive down it through a wallow as your front end comes back up your box blade will dig in here so i'm hoping not to do that i'm hoping to smooth and then when i go uphill hopefully i'll make a nice smooth transition up the hill but i don't know we'll see what happens so yep let's get this tractor started up and we'll uh we'll get on the dirt here and and start start breaking this stuff up here we go
Okay, so that's just a couple quick passes and it's already way better. Way smoother out here. Look at all this. Yeah, not as many lumps and bumps. There's still some. So we can run through this a couple more times. But wow, way better. That's about the easiest thing you can do with a tool like this is just grading out dirt like this. Now see, there's another hole right here. We need more material. So what I was trying to do is drag my material up here, dump it, and then take the bucket, put it on the ground, and drag it back, back blade that. So you just use the float function on your bucket to do that. Now here's a problem we always have with box blades is they, the good thing is they'll fill up with dirt and move it. Bad news is they'll fill up with dirt and find yourself a stick. Just whack all that dirt out of there. There you go. Tool that every person should have is a, is a big stick. There we go. Nice and clean, just like we intended. So that's it. You want to grade out a place with your box blade, it's, it's not hard. Put it on the ground, pull it through. Um, I will show you something real quick here, just as a like a housekeeping thing. Uh, we're not sitting on even ground, but that's okay. So you, your box blade, when it's pulling, you don't have to have these scarifiers stabbing into the ground. What I like is a situation like this, where you can see that the blade will catch dirt that's been broken up and move it. And your scarifiers are just busting off high spots. That's all we want. We're not digging a trench out here. <laughs> we already had a trench. So blade comes through, scarifiers break up the high spots, blade catches and moves it, and then you release in the low spot. There we go. Clearing up a, a ruddy dirt area um, in about, what, five, 10 minutes? Easy, I'm gonna run through it once, once or twice more, then I'll be done. All right, y'all have a good one. Thank you.